In many ways, the defining doctrine of true biblical Christianity is justification by faith alone in Christ alone. Justification is God declaring us righteous even though we are guilty of sin. We see in Ephesians 2, 8, 9, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith. It's not of yourselves, it's the gift of God, not of works so that no man may boast. And so this is the great dividing line between biblical Christianity during the Reformation and the Roman Catholic religion. The official position of the Roman Catholic Church on justification is that they believe that you are justified by faith plus works. In fact, at the Council of Trent, which people refer to as the Counter-Reformation, they actually issued an anathema. If anybody believes that they are justified by faith alone, they are condemned under the anathema of the Council of Trent. And so the Roman Catholic Church actively was opposing and cursing those who were holding a biblical gospel. It is often called the plus religion because Catholicism teaches that you are saved by faith plus works, by grace plus merit, by Christ plus other mediators, according to scripture plus tradition, and for the glory of God as well as the glory of Mary and other saints. When you look at the Roman Catholic plan of salvation, it is a salvation of works and sacraments. In the Roman Catholic plan of salvation, baptism cleanses an infant from original sin. And that is the sacrament of regeneration as well as justification. That it starts them off on this plan, on this track. Along the way, however, they can commit these small sins, venial sins, which plunges them back down. And heaven forbid they commit a mortal sin, which knocks them completely off the plan of salvation. And he must now receive sacraments. He must confess his sins to a priest, which is the sacrament of penance. And then he must be re-justified by doing good works, by doing penance. And once he is re-justified, then he must maintain his salvation through sacraments. And if, in the end, if they have enough people praying for them, and if they do enough time in purgatory, they might possibly get to heaven. How they get to heaven is based on what they do rather than what Christ has done. But the Bible teaches there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ. That when you put your faith in Jesus Christ, the work has been done. He saves you totally, completely, perfectly. And even though, yes, we sin and can repent, the sacrifice of Christ has paid for those sins. And so there is assurance that he has saved you, he has plucked you out of the world, you're in the palm of his hand, and nobody can pluck you out of his hand. And so that's why the reformers cried the five solas, that we are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone, according to scripture alone, all for the glory of God alone.